Okay, now our title is Memory Forensics. So let's start with the uh, answer to that question. Why Memory Forensics? Maybe we can say something about that. Okay, first, what is Memory Forensics? We should, we should answer that question, firstly. The Memory Forensics is the examination of volatile data in a computer. Okay, so what's volatile data? We talked about that before, right? Uh, when you turn off your computer, you can load some kind of files. So it's not persistent files. Uh, it's it's volatile data for us. Also, there, there was a kind of order, right? Also, we talked about that. So volatile data includes some kind of browsing history, clipboard contents, some passwords, maybe chat messages. This can be files that you can find when you are analyzing memory. So this is important for us. And memory dump is capture of data throughout random access memory or RAM, which includes memory that was stored before the system crash. So you can find almost everything until crash. Okay. So what what can what we can we find when we analyzing memory analysis? What's our aim? I say that, but let's talk about that again. For example, network connections, it's a really good point for analyzing memory. So if there is a kind of backdoor, if there's a kind of malicious executable file and it tries to access the internet or kind of C2 channel, so it's a really good way to understand what's happening in there. If you got memory analysis, you can find everything because network connections, network informations are so volatile, right? You cannot find too much things while analyzing file system image and maybe one more thing executed commands if you don't have EDR tool or maybe if you don't get lots of event logs it's so difficult to understand what's happening in there right in some situations if you don't know the command line parameters you cannot understand what's happening in that tool uh, what's that tool doing in there so this is important also for us you can find some executed commands in that uh, host machine and browser history it's important password if you are lucky you can find some passwords while analyzing memory analysis memory images okay the first step is getting images actually today we are going to talk about acquisition so how can we get memory images let's talk about it and here we have two options one of them is wimpymem it's a third party tool the both of them third party tool actually wimpymem and second one ftk major Actually, we are familiar with FTK Measure, right? We did lots of things with that tool, like getting images of physical images and logical custom content images. We tried lots of things with that tool, but we don't know the WIMPMAM. Okay, WIMPMAM is so easy tool. You see the slides, you see the screenshot in here. There's a one uh, parameter, actually. So it's output file name. Just that, when you run this command, WIMPMAM.exe, and the parameter your memory image file file name and that's all after completing this command you will get memory images and the FTK measure actually it's a it's easy way for getting memory images I can show you that it's not so difficult let's check it you remember that UI and just just two click file and capture memory okay you have to choose your destination folder and the name of the memory images and that's all when i click capture memory this one this application get memory images so i will not do that for now but that's all okay after getting memory images what are we going to do with that file so we have to analyze it right to find some answers to our questions in this step we are going to use volatility i know i'm sure you know that you heard that tool it's it's not so easy to use it's command line tool also but after some time playing with that tool you will be so comfortable in this so you can you can use that tool on windows and linux it doesn't matter I will show you my setup I'm working on a Windows and I just try to write Windows for 
volatility following those and it's forward me that link and I download it from that link also too okay so here is the my volatility tool we can check some options it should run from command line and let's see for help okay we have lots of things in here so this is the help page actually it's it tries to explain how to use the tool and these are our plugins plugin commands okay so what it means if you use this plugin you will get this information so let's check some of them and for example for example what's good in there malfind it's really nice tool actually it's really nice plugin for understanding some malicious activities on the host and mem dump you can you can dump some kind of memory areas specific process areas and you can you can search it via string scanning and what's more and here is the process plugins PS list, PS scan, PS3. You can check all running processes in that host, and use also you can dump it. So you can understand lots of things with their their name, but we will we will do that. We will do exercise. Yeah, we are going to understand what can we do.